Okay, so today we've got the unboxing of the E-Link Pro Chair Mount Ergonomic Keyboard and Laptop Tray System. Now, I'll actually be using this one to support my keyboard, so it's not going to be used for its laptop option, although that is an option if you ever buy one of these. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing. And as always with Amazon Prime, exceptionally quick shipping. In fact, I ordered this yesterday and it arrived today. So, that is definitely quick shipping. So, actually a box within a box, because this is the manufacturer's packaging. And, as you can see, not made in the UK obviously, but this is the company responsible for the design and manufacture of it. Um, from other reviews I've seen online, it's actually quite a decent bit of kit. So we'll get this box open now. And as you can see there, I went for the yellow oak version. Interestingly, the walnut version of it is like 50 pounds more on Amazon. And no idea why that's the case, but such is the way of things. Okay, now in the top we have the mouse tray um, with the wrist support there. Um, this attaches to either side of your chair, depending on whether you're left or right-handed, or indeed whichever side you prefer it to be on. And it has very simple fixing mechanism in that it's just, as you can see here, Velcro straps. So pretty universal to whatever chair you're going to be using it on. Here is the installation guide and as you can see it attaches onto the pole of your chair which is why it's important that you have a 28mm pole otherwise this won't clamp onto it properly. And here's a list of the varying parts within the kit. And here's the information about how to install the mouse tray. Um, as you can tell with um, the translation, it's a little bit funny, but you don't really need to worry about that since the images give plenty enough description of how to fit it. Um, here's the tray component. Yeah. Uh, now there's nothing stopping you from replacing this tray component with one of your own. Um, you could quite easily do that. The bracket is just screwed on at the bottom and has adjustment in it there. So you can change the angle at which, it, which it's tilted. And in the bottom of the box we have the arm mechanism itself which as you can see is actually quite large and then we have the clamp parts that fit to support both parts both onto your chair and onto 
the unit itself, which is quite good. And in here we also have oh my, yeah, that goes those are the two parts. And here we have a bag of fixings. You can see there. Um, all carefully sealed up so you're not going to get lost parts, which is a good thing. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, here we go. And here is the arm that brings it out from underneath your chair so that this arm here can then do the adjustment of like where the keyboard is. Okay, so this concludes the unboxing part of this video. I'll now install this on my chair and I'll show you the results afterwards. Okay, so this part of the video is going to be handheld, so I apologise in advance for any shaking. But um, the kit does come with all the bits you need to, to install it, even little spanners as well for working with the nuts on the bracket. However, uh, dependent on your chair, um, as was the case with mine, you'll need some additional tools to take things like extra padded armrests off which add a great deal of thickness and mean that the velcro isn't long enough to properly clamp on the mouse pad. Now as you can see here this is what I used to be using um, and it wasn't very good really to balance it on your knee it's already been adjusted quite a bit to make it fit but now we've got the proper setup as you can see here, there's the mouse pad with armrest and support for your rest as well. And here's the good, relatively solid tray for putting your keyboard on. Certainly a lot less flex in that than there is in that old thing. So, all in all, turned out really quite well. I'll uh, move the chair and we'll try and get a view of the bracket itself but lighting might make that a bit difficult and here we go yeah, see if we can get it focus no it's not going to do um, but as you can just make out here these are the little brackets and the nuts that hold them up the little spanners are dead good for that because they fit in really small spaces without any hassle. And then this is the latching pin that stops this bar here from rotating round. And so now we'll just pick the keyboard up and move it over. And there we go, rice at home on its new little support. Okay, so this concludes this unboxing of this product. I have to say it is a pretty good little product. Certainly will help me out a lot. And catch you next time.